Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at a newly updated Play Store for Android. Now there's not necessarily a huge amount of changes, but what has changed is definitely very nice and brings a lot of the material design over from what we're going to see in Android L later on in the year. So just take a quick look. Now the main way of which you're going to see a change is if you go into an application, a movie, a book or even some music within the actual Play Store itself. So if I just go over into my apps and just head into Asphalt 8, you can see here that you can see an immediate change. So you can see that you've got a video at the top of the application it is that you're looking at. You've got whether it's uninstalled, the option to open it, and obviously if the app isn't installed, that would bear the option of installing the application. You've then got the rating, the type of game, people that have plus one it from Google Plus that are in your circles, and also similar applications. As you head down, in the read more section, you've got all the information here about the actual game itself, and you've also got what the latest update was, so there were some minor bug fixes. They've also got the pictures here from the actual game itself, which are really nice. Also, you can click on them to make them go full screen as well, as you can see there. So you can get a real feel for the application before you actually purchase it. As you head further down, you've got the rating for the actual application as well. You've also got games by the developer, so in this case it's Gameloft. Similar applications, so you can see here we've got Asphalt 8, GT Racing 2. You've also got some other applications that people also installed around the same sort of time as Asphalt 8. And right down the bottom you've got developer options, so you can visit the website, permission details, flag is inappropriate if it needs to be. In terms of the actual video itself, depending on where you're looking at the video, it may be a YouTube video or it may be coming straight from the Google Play Store. With most gaming applications, I've found that it's mainly YouTube videos. And what I mean by that is that it's actually going to play a YouTube video where you can change things like the quality. So you can go into the quality settings down here play pause and obviously if you click on the YouTube icon then it is just going to play. Now there are also adverts as you see I just got rid of an advert just down the bottom there but overall it gives you a really nice feel for the application that you're going to be buying. The videos do look really nice and the ones you can get from YouTube obviously you can make them 720p so they do look extremely good. Another place where it has changed is also in the movies and TV shows. And again, initially it looks exactly the same. Once you go into something like the Lego movie, you've got pretty much the same sort of layout. Some things are slightly different, obviously the categories, you can see this one is family. And again, all these are actionable. So obviously if you click on the rating, it's gonna give you a more in-depth look at the rating. You can see all the different ratings that people have given this particular movie. You then got family, which will take you to the family section of the Google Play Store for TVs and movies. And also lastly, you then have the similar, which is going to give you things like Lego Batman and other kids films, which it associates with the Lego movie. Again, you've got a trailer. Now this one here isn't a YouTube video. As you can see, the settings are different. You can't change the quality settings or anything. So it's going to be completely dependent on your network, whether it's Wi-Fi, 3G or 4G. And obviously you can see here you've got an option to cast it to a Chromecast as well. So those have changed. Also the books option has changed as well. Now the books is slightly more plain. Obviously you can't really have a trailer or anything for a book. So if I go on to The Walking Dead for instance, you can see that all it does is give me some information about the book similar and also then you've got the ratings down the bottom of similar books and more by the same author in this case Robert Kirkman for The Walking Dead. Google Play Newsstand has also changed as well so again if we just go into a magazine for instance we've got here Match of the Day a football magazine you can see here that there's a changer as well so it gives you the category again you can click on that to give you other magazines for the same sort of category similar a rating and also you've got more detailed rating down here and similar magazines and also back issues as well so you can see here that pretty much everything has changed within the google play store and i really like the experience that all the color palette matches so if I head into books which is kind of this sky blue color you can see it follows through to the app and also in terms of the purchasing and also free sample up here to add to your wish list and things and certain text around the book side of things is the same sort of blue that you have on this banner lastly if we head into music you can have the exact same sort of thing where again you click on an album it's going to have the brand new design it's going to go singer songwriter which is the category similar rating you kind of get the gist of it that it's pretty much going to work exactly the same throughout the whole application in terms of the google play now one thing that i like is for instance the album artwork you can see is shrunken down 
but if you actually scroll down you get to see the full album artwork which is definitely a minor thing but if you are someone that appreciates album artwork or just in general the artwork of certain artists and things then it's a great place to just have a quick look and see what's happening with some new albums or just in general new music that they are putting out so overall it's a great update obviously there's going to be a lot more changes obviously this front page is going to change certain menus are going to change as well with the release of android l later on in the year but for now this is a quick look at the updated version of the google play store which is incorporating some material design which i really do like just one example of that material design is the banners so you can see here you've got the album artwork at the top but as i scroll down an orange banner will appear and that's going to stay there and obviously go underneath what you can see in terms of the rating of the stars for instance are going to slide under the album songs are going to slide under and overall it's a really nice experience i've not had any issues at all it's rolling out quite slowly to android devices but i'm going to see if i can find a link and put it down in the description below so you can download it and install it straight away i'm michael from copper versus glass with a quick look at the updated google play store and i will catch you guys in the next video